Once you guys got another video, the new Windows 11 update KB507-4109 is breaking PCs. So you might not want to install this just yet. You might want to pause it if you haven't installed it already. It is for versions Windows 11 version 25H2 and Windows 11 24H2, which is a slightly different number. Now this Windows 11 update is a huge update to fix a huge number of security issues that are on Windows 11. 114 security vulnerabilities have been patched with this uh, update. And you might be saying, why shouldn't I install it just yet? Well, as always, there is some major problems with this update. Now, Microsoft have already started to release a fix for some of the issues, but not all of them. So the improvements, as Microsoft like to call them, are listed right here. I'm not going to go through all of these, but the battery and power fix is to fix the brand new MPU computers out there improving battery life of its so-called AI PCs or your Copilot Plus PC types. And then you've got Secure Boot and a bunch of other fixes on here as well. Now we'll talk about some of the problems that this update is causing a little bit later on in the video, but I just want to go over some of the security uh, updates that this update is going to fix. Now, obviously, there is going to be some AI components that they roll out in this uh, update, and you can see them listed here for image search, uh, content extraction, semantic analysis, and also settings model as well as being updated. So this major update has been rolled out, and it also includes uh, the new menu system for some people as well, according to some sources that I've been reading. Now, if you want to read all of the uh, CVEs for each individual update that you can do, Microsoft have got an extensive list right here. I'm not going to go right through them, but you can see it gives you the base score. The higher the base score means the more severe uh, the update needs to be done. And of course, there is a lot of them. There's 114 on here. It says 112 here, but they have released 114 updates for this and it's for the graphics kernel it's for the windows installer windows error reporting windows kernel a few of those on here windows remote uh, procedure call which is obviously always been uh, attacked and they obviously have to patch that constantly but as you can see the list is quite extensive windows tpm has been updated as well and some of these are in the higher sevens like going towards eight seven point eight and numbers like that that's quite high and that means they're quite a severe uh, update that need to be done windows media windows kernel again down there 5.5 and these are all going to be individual types of updates with different types of patches that they're applying to the system and you can spend ages going through here and having a look at all these windows clipboard server windows smb server uh, again, these are an extensive list of patches that they rolled out. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll leave a link for it in the video description. Now, on to some of the issues. Uh, warning, critical issue and reported bugs. Gaming performance drops of up to 20 FPS as well after the installation of this update. There's been other reports of up to 50% degrade in FPS on some sites. I don't know how true some of this is or whether it's just... Uh, scaremongering people but definitely i would say there has been a lot of reports of at least 20 fps and a little bit more than that on some sites microsoft have also confirmed there is an impact on it as well and i think they are trying to roll out a fix for it there's also been other reports of black screen of death as well after installing uh, the kb5074109 update also reports of a freezing of Outlook as well as reported on Windows latest website. Uh, there is screenshots on there of black screens and things like that as well after installing this update. Whether that's an isolated issue or a major global uh, problem, then we'll have to wait and see. Now, you can update this manually if you want to. There is updates on the Microsoft uh, catalog here you'll be able to download these if you're doing it for testing purposes and you haven't received the update you should be receiving these updates through the windows update panel just like this one here and when i click on update you should already see it ready to install an update onto the system 
So if you have already updated uh, to this update, then let me know in the comments section down below whether you had any issues with it, because I'm not on Windows 11. As you well know, I'm on Windows 10 right now. But if you are receiving any sort of black screen of death, any frame drops or any problems with this update, let me know what type of problems you're having in the comments section down below to help others who are watching this video. Now, obviously, you can uninstall the update if you are having major problems with it, which is straightforward and easy to do. I've covered that on my channel before. But if you are looking to roll out this update and take a uh, punt on it and see whether it causes any problems, by all means, just run the update on your system. I did it on this virtual machine and I had no problems during the installation or after the installation. But this is a virtual machine, of course, and they act differently to a real computer. So we don't know how big this problem is or whether it's a real problem for lots of different computers or whether it's just an isolated issue with certain types of hardware. We'll have to wait and see. But already online, I've seen quite a lot of articles being written and also a lot of YouTube videos. Now, of course, a lot of this stuff is repetition and rinse and repeat type content. And this is what's happening on social media right now. Things get blown up and we don't know how big the problem is until we start getting some really true facts on the problem itself. Now, Microsoft have already started to release a patch for some of the problems, but I don't think they're fixing all the problems. The problem is when you're releasing an update the size that Microsoft have just released with 114 security vulnerabilities, there's bound to be some issues along the way. But the problem is it's becoming a broken record with Microsoft, and this is a common occurrence every time they release a major update. There's also major problems with these updates, bugs and other issues like it. And it's just an ongoing thing. And I think it's sort of deterring people from rolling out updates as soon as they are released by Microsoft. Now, this is not the first time that we've had issues with uh, Windows updates and gaming performance. There's been releases from Microsoft before Back in October 2025, they released an update which also caused problems with gaming performance. So this is an ongoing thing with Microsoft and they need to get it together. Uh, whether there's going to be patches released by Microsoft in the up and coming days, we'll have to wait and see. Or whether this is just going to be another one of those long drawn out uh, problems that are going to be around and plaguing Windows for a number of months or even years in some cases, because this is what happens with some bugs, they just linger on forever. And remember, they've only not long just rolled out 25H2, and we're still getting these sort of problems with 25H2, which have, some of them have been carried over from 24H2. So 26H2 is next. Let's hope that that is a lot better than what 25H2 and 24H2 have been. Anyway, with that said, let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.